located there for them to exit the vehicle. That way the uh, equipment lock portion does not have to be uh, depressurized and uh, have the uh, air vented to space. It helps it preserve some of the uh, supplies. This is uh, Paolo Nespoli, who is in the Columbus module. If you look beyond him through the hatchway, that's the Harmony module, and through the continuing the configuration of their tools for tomorrow's spacewalk. That EVA gets started at 10.18 tomorrow morning. A moment ago, we also saw flight engineer uh, Paolo Nespoli. He's in the uh, Columbus laboratory, where he's been working on a variety of maintenance tasks throughout the afternoon. Now, uh, a look at uh, Nespoli, who is uh, packing up some trash. He's been uh, working in the uh, Columbus module for uh, a few hours now, and uh, we heard him in contact with the uh, Mission Control Center operated by the European Space Agency, known as the Columbus Control Center. That's in Oberpfaffenhofen, uh, Germany, which is near Munich. seeing now is a live view on the uh, station's truss structure as the uh, mobile transporter which uh, supports the mobile base system which in turn is supporting the uh, station's robotic arm is uh, translating from worksite number three to worksite number two this is a very short trip but the uh, the end to uh, almost to the point where the uh, rotating solar arrays uh, exist they don't go out to the very end of the truss though in fact one of the uh, tasks on once you get back in here we'll get them all dressed up in their spacesuits and ready to go out the door and our commander has given them all sorts of words of encouragement and uh, also told them if they do a bad job we'll put them back in with that i think we are ready for space fly drops tomorrow very nice people